Last week, we talked about the fact that biodiversity equals life support services, and tropical forests are our most concentrated life support systems. Well, here's why that's true. Biointegrity, the project, began with the question, what's the number one way to stop climate change and the extinction crisis? I have since learned tropical forests. Tropical forests contain half of Earth's biodiversity. This tiny system, currently covering less than 5% of our planet, contains twice as much biodiversity as global oceans, more than six times that of global coral reefs. When you look at global species mappings, tropical forests are number one in seemingly every class. As we talked about last week, tropical forest biodiversity provides about a quarter of global life support services. But these places, Earth's most biodiverse ecosystems, also conspire with ice caps, oceans, and global temperature to determine global weather and the rate of global warming. They provide our fastest, least expensive carbon sequestration, too. In short, tropical forest biodiversity provides our most complete buffer against global warming. It's the whole system, plants, animals, and microbial organisms that work together to produce these benefits. We've depended on tropical forest biodiversity since before the dawn of civilization, but tropical forests are disappearing today faster than any other ecosystem on Earth, and that deforestation is driving today's extinction crisis. So if you care about stopping the extinction crisis like me, stopping tropical deforestation is priority one. We can turn the ship on climate change and stop the extinction crisis by protecting Earth's most biodiverse ecosystems, by protecting life. Help protect the most biodiverse region of the Amazon by supporting a community-based project. Click the link in the comments to learn more about how impactful you can be.